Well, the media outraged over this call between President Trump and a seven-year-old girl on Christmas. What are you going to do for Christmas? Probably put out some cookies and then we're, ha we're hanging out with our friends, so that's pretty much all. Oh, that's really good. You just have a good time. Okay. You still a believer in Santa? Yes, sir. Because they're seven-inch marshmallow, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, you just uh, enjoy yourself. Happy Christmas. And you just take care of yourself and say hello to your family. Okay? Say hello to everybody. And after the outrage, her parents are speaking out. The little girl's dad, Donald Lloyd, saying, quote, I think it's crazy. It became a big deal. It's Christmas time. I love to keep politics out of Christmas. It didn't bother me. I like to talk to my kids like adults. Well, here to react is Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas, Fox News contributor and author of the new book, Rare Medium or Done Well, Make the Most of Your Life. Governor, good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas. How was your Christmas? It was wonderful. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to you guys. When I was watching that segment with the president, I couldn't help but think, what's wrong with people? I mean, it wasn't like he was boiling the little girl's bunny rabbit in a pot on the stove or something. I mean, he asked a simple question. And you, you never can find a way that President Trump will make some of the people in the press happy. It doesn't matter what he does. If he didn't make the call, if he didn't talk to the little girl, they'd say that he was curled up in a fetal position in the White House and he was uh, un uh, unwilling to come out and talk to anybody. I mean, the man can't catch a break. Yeah, Governor, you know, I, I was raising in an earlier hour the old adage, which is if President Trump walked on water and saved the seven-year-old drowning, they would say it just proves that Trump can't swim. But, you know, it's good to see that clip because now you see the young girl girls yeah. into the conversation. When it first came out, it was just the president's side of the story, and the media freaked out. What does that tell us about what the president's facing? Uh -oh. Looks, Looks like, like we're like having some audio problems there clearly, with, and video problems. With some some gremlins in the system might not want that answered, but you know, I think probably what he's going to say as we work to get Governor Huckabee back. Oh, Governor, oh, he's back. Oh, there he is. All right. Sorry about that. It's a Christmas you were miracle. Saying, sir. Am I back? Yeah. You're back. Well, I was, I was just going to say that there, there's no balance in the media these days. It's uh, utterly ridiculous, and I think it, it reminds most Americans why they have such a disgust and a disdain for uh, the mass media today. It's. Uh, it's no longer journalism. It's advocacy. And that's unfortunate. It's not just unfortunate for the president. Quite frankly, it's unfortunate for the public because they're the ones who are really uh, losing the opportunity to get solid and reliable information and then make their own decisions. That's how America is supposed to work. Well, speaking of disgust and disdain, a new billboard uh, for atheists was put up. It says, make Christmas great again. Skip church. Um, why is that the wrong message for them to send during this holiday season? Well, you know, I, I, I'm just amazed that you've got atheists who uh, are appalled that uh, somebody would take Christmas as a religious holiday. I mean, what else do you do with it? I, you know, atheists to me are, they're amusing. And I don't get mad at them. I get amused by them. I feel <laughs> sorry for them. They're the only people I know that can take something as wonderful as Christmas, uh, one of the few holidays of the year that even non-Christians can embrace the, the faith of, of Jesus Christ, and, and they can somehow find fault with it. And for them to say, uh, we don't want it to be religious, it's about organized religion, I'm thinking, well, maybe what they have is disorganized religion. They believe in nothing. And they believe in it religiously. And what a shame. They miss the opportunity for peace on earth, goodwill toward men. The, the whole message of Christmas of dying to self, serving other people, it, it's a beautiful story. Even if a person does not embrace Jesus Christ on a personal level, how do you miss that story? How do you miss that power? And yet somehow they find a way to do it. And I, all I can say is I truly feel sorry for them. They must be the most miserable people on planet Earth come December 25th. Well, let's switch gears to the important topic of the day, which is did you have any of Sarah's pie? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sarah and, and her family were supposed to come, uh, and they didn't get to because of the government shutdown. Oh, so, yeah. unfortunately, we've missed the whole thing. 
uh, with uh, with her side of the family, and we're going to have to now, uh, you know, go to D.C. and haul a bunch of Christmas presents up after the first of the year to have a very delayed Christmas. So uh, the government shutdown, it's, it, it is what it is, but it has affected our family in a profound way. But this is life. You know, you, you sign up for this sort of stuff and you expect it, but uh, kind of broke our hearts. It, not, yeah. not that we didn't get to see Sarah. Heck, we'll see her another time. Broke my heart's not to see those grandkids. Right. Yeah, That's well, sad. you'll get a double Christmas now when you come back, and I'm sure you'll be eating double <laughs> the pecan pie as well. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we, I'm going to demand that we have one. Thank you. Governor Huckabee, we appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Governor. Merry Christmas.